You know, when people start to feel like they're getting inside information from you because you're an expert in your field, you've built yourself up, then that's when they really start following you hard. One thing that I'm telling agents to do is Closings happen every single day, regardless of market conditions. If you go back to the dot-com boom, 9-11, 2008, the pandemic, look at the pandemic and go back and look at the amount of closings that are happening every single day and the amount of people that were putting properties under contract. It was just monstrous, right? And that goes to tell you right there how powerful the real estate market is, that you couldn't even meet people face to face, and that did not stop closings. People found a way, the real estate market finds a way to make deals happen. It, it's very resilient. It's kind of like when the market crashes and prices go down. It's a very similar situation because prices adjust. Why do they adjust? They adjust to a place that people will continue to buy. What does that tell you? That transactions will continue to happen no matter what. Prices may go up and down. The number of transactions may go up or down, but they're still happening and they're still more than you can handle at all times. So I realize that closings happen every day. Business is unlimited forever. Competition doesn't exist, you know, all those things. And if you value relationships over transactions and you really build your brand around being a hard worker, people are just drawn to you, you know what I mean? And so then you have to build a personal brand around that. I did that through a weekly email, right? That's kind of my bread and butter as far as marketing goes. And at this point, that's all I do. I still continue to sell 100 properties a year just doing the weekly email. I have time because of that. I have time to go build other businesses. What people want is your two cents. They want to hear breaking news, hear something that's sold, here's what I think about it, right? Or here's an event going on in the area, here's what I think about it. You know, here's a new restaurant in the area, here's what I think about it. When you start giving your opinion on the market and different things, and they feel like they're getting an inside connection of the market through you, you know, here's, here's the stats of this month compared to that same month last year. Here's where we are, right? And here's what I'm hearing from buyers that I'm showing property to. Here's the overall temperature of, of people in the marketplace that are thinking about buying and selling. You know, when people start to feel like they're getting inside information from you because you're an expert in your field, you've built yourself up, then that's when they really start following you hard. One thing that I'm telling agents to do is to do three videos. One, all that are like two to four minutes long, very professionally done. One that's like a bio of yourself. Right, really professionally done, you know, drone shots, or it's a voiceover, make it really good. You know, you walking on the beach or through your town or whatever, do one video that's your bio, do one video that's of a local business, do one video that's of a listing. So you got three different, you know, angles of yourself presenting different things. You got three really nice videos, run all three of those videos as an ad for like three or four months in your area. Where everybody sees all three of those videos, everybody is gonna know who you are. And then on the back side of that, you can create an audience around people that watch the video for three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, whatever, and then retarget ads to those people to continue building your brand with them through that, you know, through that medium if that's what you want to do. I think at the, all, at the end of the day, the ultimate brand builder to me is a weekly email for real estate agents, right? I think for all businesses, the frequency might change depending on the industry, but across the board, I think email should be the foundation of your personal brand because the organic reach is so high compared to social media. Social media, you're looking at two to 25% organic reach versus 90% for email. Organic meaning free impression. So 90% versus two to 25, you know, it's kind of a no brainer. Foundation, email, and then stack your social media personal branding on top of it. Um, so what exactly are you putting in your emails? Are they more informational, or are they more opinionated, or are they driving traffic somewhere? So yeah, they're, they're all the above. They're informational, opinionated, they're everything. See, the thing is, you're sending one every week. So you can do informational this week, opinionated the next week. You know, you're hitting them every week. So you, got plenty. you don't have to do everything in one email. Just give them a little bit every week. And I'm driving them to my website where I have, you know, real estate information, and stuff like that. I'm not really driving them social media too much, more just keeping them within my ecosystem of my website and you know the information on the email. Unless there's some major story and I send them a link to that article on a different website or whatever. So 
Yeah, it's just kind of a mixture, but it's more so, I mean, they could just read the email and get a lot, and then if they want to hear more about a certain point on the email, they can go to a certain place. The thing about personal branding, man, because I, I view my email as a social media platform, right? Because it's somewhere where I'm posting original, consistent content. That's what wins, right? Personal branding, original, meaning you, it came out of your mind, right? Consistent, so that's every week, or, you know, social media is once a day, or once a week for podcast. I do a podcast every single day, seven days a week, but, you know, it just kind of depends on the platform and how, what the frequency is that's consistent, but it's got to be original, consistent content, you know what I mean? So, every Wednesday I do my email, and I just kind of come up with what I think my audience wants to, you know, wants to know about today. So I've got 19,000 people on this weekly email, about 6,000 of those emails bounce. So you got about 12, 13 that actually receive it. 5,000 open it up every week. So I have 5,000 people engaging with my weekly email every week. That's something I built up over the years. It took me 15 years to get to that point. Once you get to that point, you don't have to really worry about where your business is coming from. These people know who you are. They know you're here to help. You know, you've built your brand around being that guy or girl that just wants to help them when, it, when the time comes. And business just flows.